Well, the wolves haven't been through yet. It's only been two days. But I put in another set up here at this junction right here. Just got some fox earring on them turds. And right here, that trap's right there. And then I put a whole set right here. Traps right here. Whole set, a little bit of fox urine and some Violator 7. Um, right back down here is where those other four sets are with the wolf turds on it. Um, and the wolves left those turds there, so. Anyway, so that's six traps up here now. And I've got, well, um, that's 14 traps total. I got one more to check, but wolves haven't been through. Cows didn't stomp me out again, which is kind of amazing to me because I'm um, back here where I made those sets last night. The cows come through, stepped on all of them, pop that one, drug that one off, pop that one, pop that one. And the drug off said they they can kick them off really fast. It only made it this far. The other cow kicked it off. I was camped down there and the cows were in the meadow. So I figured I'd had to reset a bunch of traps, but lucked out. Anyway, this is a little trail I come up. And I believe the baiting I've got four traps left with me I was thinking about putting one there but there's a really good stump on down the trail so anyway it's old rotten stump here See, I could chain off to this green tree and poke a set right there so I'm sure you guys will be seeing that set I know at least I'm going to set that one down there. I'd like to set the top into the meadow. So, catch you later. I think I'm finally getting this load figured out on this bike. So, I had it way overloaded the other day. I bent, I'll show you what I bent. I had to hammer it back down. Um, this hitch right here, it bent out in this way, and it's not wanting to stay locked. I gotta do a little more work on it. But I had six traps and bait on there, and that is a lot of weight. So anyway, I'm carrying just six traps now, two on the bike. Uh, four in the trailer, which I only got two in the trailer now, and I'm able to put my backpack in there now. And I'm just going to walk next to it down this trail until I get to the next spot I'm going to set. I'm back down here to where I'm going to make a next set. Um, so yeah, I just walk that bike. I can ride it too, but it's just easy just to walk beside it. So I'm going slower. I'm going to make a set right here off this old stump and I, twice now I forgot to bring dog turds up here so my bad but I'll chain off to this tree here so whatever I catch I don't have to go looking for and just looking at it it's kind of a low spot right here I'll probably put it right there Boy, the comments about those crocs. I like comfort, man. I got bad legs. I got a bad knee, bad ankles, a bad back. So I'm all about the comfort. Hate on them with, if you will, man. I used to trap in slippers. Maybe I'll post a picture right here of a wolf I got in slippers. So check that out.
Anyway, let's get to making a set. I'm not gonna video record it. I already put one up making the full set. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes, depending. So I'll take a video of the final, what, a, what it ended up looking like. Now, if I had dog poop, I'd just smear it right up and down that. And I'd set that trap real close with poop, but being so I don't, I'll probably just use a little bit of lure. I think I'll set right here in this low spot. Maybe brush it in just a little bit, kind of make a go around. So, let's get started. So when I'm making a set like this, um, I just take the drag, I go around the tree, and I just throw a half hitch over over the drag. It's super easy, quick take it off and I'll brush all that in covered up I'll hide that chain I left it exposed right now just to show you um, so I'll put a little bit of urine right here and I'll put some lure I'll scratch that up put some lure right back in there and I'll show you when it's all covered up Well, this is what we ended up with, end of the set. Um, a little bit of urine on that rock, a little bit on that bush, just a tad back there, and there's a little stick right there, some lure on it. Oh, the chain's all covered. So, that's a complete set there. That's three for the day, which gives me 15 in here. I'm gonna set some more. Up the trail, a little bit of side detour. Little bike. Walking up this little bottom here, do a little more scouting. Let's buy off the trail, chewed up antler. Been a pretty nice buck. I'll grab that on my way back out. I might even use that for a set. There's game trails all through here. I'm looking for wolf poop, chewed up bones, stuff like that. So, anyway, at the bottom here, there's a pretty good spot for a set. And those other traps are up here. I just want to cover the bottom too, just in case they don't come down the ridge. Oh, I'll keep it looking. That looks like you can find some poop. In a bit. So, I'm right at the bottom of that draw, I just found that antler up. There's a couple, several game trails to come down. There's one over here, one up there. But right here is almost a natural go through. I'll put a set right here, put a little bit of urine, probably some lure up in it. And I'll take that drag, I'll wrap it around, actually put it up under there so I won't have to come over here. If that trap's moved, it'll move that log. All right, moved it, it's movable. So, that'd be a good spot for a hole set right there too. But I'm just gonna put one in here. I gotta check that other set. And I might put one there, over there too. So this is that other game trail, it comes out into that meadow. That's the top end of the meadow. That's the trail my bike's on. I've got several sets up it. And there's a old road that's just all falling in up top. And that's where those other ones, where the wolf poop is. So, should have one off on this trail too, but I'll put it right there. The wind's actually blowing in my face right now. 
I don't know if that's the prevailing wind, it always does that or not, but I'm gonna get a set in there. And I gotta head off the hill after checking this next set. Probably, probably be the last trap I set today. So, get after it. My holster works pretty good for putting that old 30-30 in there too. All right. There's the finish set. So there's a trail right here. Goes up into the valley. Out of this meadow. So, got a little bit of urine back. Some uh, lure up and underneath. Oh, that's 16 sets in here. Hopefully a little luck will get get a couple tied up. I got sets up there. Sets on down the valley. So, that's what I want to show you. So this is the trail. I ride my bike up. And it goes on up in there. That last set I just put in is over here. As I come by, I can look, and that sticking up stump there will be moved if I hooked anything. The drag's underneath it, so I don't have to go over by it to check it. Oh. I like to do that kind of stuff on wolves. I don't like being up on the sets all the time. Sometimes you have to, but if you can check them from a distance, you're better off. Oh, you're not putting sand in there. All right. On to the next one.